Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tag video and this is called the this or that tag and I wasn't tagged by anybody specifically but I saw a video from the channel Becky's Make a Day so I will link her channel down in the description box below. Uh, she does really awesome videos and she did a really awesome tag and I thought I would do this tag just to have a nice easy quick short video and for you guys to get to know some more information about me. So let's just get on with the questions. I would definitely say blush. I feel like blush 90% of the time looks the most natural on me compared to bronzers. Definitely lipstick. I feel like I like pigmentation and staying power and I feel like lip glosses can get really sticky and hair can get stuck in my hair. So definitely lipstick. I would definitely say mascara. Eyeliner some of the time doesn't look very good on my eyelids because I have hooded eyes and so whenever I put eyeliner on sometimes it just hides the eyeshadow I put on. So definitely mascara. I most of the time just use eyeshadow and mascara on a daily basis. I would say foundation. I feel like most of the time I really just need to even out my skin. I am really thankful that I don't get a lot of acne or I don't get a lot of dark circles even though I still conceal that spot, but definitely foundation. Definitely neutral. I mostly wear neutrals and that just what looks natural and what looks the best on me and I feel like I can get away with it more often obviously because color eyeshadow can look really bright and intense sometimes. Uh, this is a tricky one. I feel like it kind of depends on the look but I guess I would say pressed because that is what I use most often. Hmm, that's a tricky one. I would say that I use sponge for my foundation, concealer, and then it brushes for everything else. Um, I haven't tried that many China Glaze nail polishes. I have a few, but I don't have a lot. So I would say OPI just because I've been using that the longest, and that is the nail polish that most salons use, so therefore I would say OPI. I would have to say short for the most part. I feel like really long nails would just be really annoying. I would say natural. I feel like I can get away with natural most of the time. And I don't do acrylic nails, but I do do gel nails most of the time because they last forever. So, but I would still say natural. Um. I really don't like either brights or darks. I do a lot of neutral colors on my hands. Um, I think I would say brights. Definitely no flower. I mean, a flower can look pr really pretty on the nails, but I definitely don't need a flower on my fingernails. Um, I would say neither. If you haven't watched my channel before, then you probably don't know that uh, I can't smell a lot of things. And if you have watched a lot of my videos, then I'm sorry because I feel like I say that in every video. But I can't smell a lot of things, so therefore I don't own a lot of perfumes and stuff. And also, I have really sensitive skin with eczema, so a lot of scented things can really irritate my skin. So I'd have to say neither. Hmm. I like both. I would say lotion because most of the time I really like a thin layer of lotion. Now, I love body butters too, but sometimes those can be really thick, but then sometimes those heal my skin the best if they're not scented. But I think I'm going to pick lotion. Uh, I would say body wash just because that's what I use most of the time, but I like soap too. Um, I would have to say uh, Lush. I really like a lot of their products. Um, I can't really think of other bath companies off of the top of my head. Um, I really don't pay attention to a lot of bath companies and what I really like just because a lot of their stuff is scented and I can't really use scented things or I can't really smell anything. So I would say Lush just because 
I really love their Ocean Salt Scrub and I really love their Lush Tea Tree Toner. Those are some of my favorite products like ever. I would say jeans. I wear that pretty much every day. Jeans just go with everything. I mean, obviously in the summer I like short sleeve shirts, but in the winter I like long sleeved. But I think in general, I think I like long sleeve shirts better. Definitely dresses because dresses are just way easier and I don't actually own that many skirts. I literally think I only own one skirt. And I feel like with a lot of skirts they're kind of hard to pair where with a dress you don't really need to pair it with a top or anything like that. I like both, but I think I would choose plaid. Again, I like both, but I probably would choose flip-flops because they're the most comfortable. Uh, I would say scarves, but I think hats can look really cute too. I'm just going to say that for everything. I'm a very middle-of-the-road person and I like a lot of things, so sometimes it can be really hard for me to make a decision, but I definitely think I would choose scarves over hats. Definitely studs. Definitely necklaces. Those last two weren't very hard for me. Definitely flats. Comfort is key for me. Um, I really don't know the difference. If you know the difference, then please comment down below. But I don't know. I don't really wear either. I mean, I wear boots in the winter and in the fall, but they aren't like cowboy or riding boots. I guess I think riding boots are a little bit taller, aren't they, than cowboy boots? So I think I would say riding boots. I would say jacket. Sometimes on hoodies, the actual hoodie part can be really annoying. I really am kind of OCD and like to keep it flat behind my back, so I would say jacket. Um, either of those two places aren't really my favorite places to shop, but I think I would say Forever 21. I think they have a little bit more cuter stuff, and I really like their jewelry a lot. Neither. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of my middle school days. And most things in those stores don't really fit me, so I would say neither. Uh, there isn't a Saks Fifth close to me. There's a Saks Fifth off rack, I think, whatever that is, close to me. But there's a Nordstrom, a regular Nordstrom closer to me, so I would definitely say Nordstrom. Uh, I wear my hair straight most of the time in my videos just because that's really easy for me to do and my hair is naturally straight, but I really love curly hair too. Again, I probably wear a ponytail most often, but I really think buns do look cute too. I don't know if they look really that cute on me though. I would say bobby pins, but then I would probably use something like butterfly clips for when I'm doing my makeup, like you probably see in most of my tutorials. Definitely hairspray. I don't use gel in my hair. I feel like mostly guys use gel, or if you have short hair, you would use gel. Definitely long. I would definitely say dark. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is sort of a mix kind of between light and dark, so, but I would definitely say more on the dark side. Hmm. I think both of those kinds of bangs look really pretty. I actually, when I was in elementary school, had like a full fringe bang, but I don't know if that would look necessarily that good on me anymore because I have a pretty round face. So I guess I would say side swept bangs. I would say down just because that's what I wear most of the time and I think that looks the prettiest with a lot of different hair looks. But I really want to try and do some more hair looks that are up to. Um, that's one thing that I still need to experiment more in terms of beauty is my hair. Shine. 
I would say summer. Well, spring is when my birthday is, but that's when I tend to get the most allergies, so I think I would say the fall. Definitely chocolate. Chocolate is my favorite food. <laughs> I really like both. I visited both, but I would say East Coast just because I love New York and um, I live, I live in the Midwest, but I definitely live mostly near the East Coast. So that was all of the questions in the this or that tag. I really hope you enjoyed this video and go check out Becky's Make a Day channel and I will link that down in the description box below like I said in the beginning of the video. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you could give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it and that will help me determine what other videos you guys want to see. And if you love makeup and beauty videos, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel and click that red box down below this video. That would mean so much to me and also check the description box down below for all kinds of information such as my social media links and so you can follow me on those and also I will have an end card at the end of this video that will show you my Instagram and Twitter and also I have a snapchat periscope again you can check for all of those links and usernames down in the description box below and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day bye everyone